We are done with the Dwargon arc. We're going back home with our dwarves. The whole arc wasn't really that exciting, right? It was more about like politics. It was more about just like talking, but still the scene with Vesta and Kaijin and the king, that stuff was godlike cinema. Now we're going back home, but there's like a spy following us that I think um, basically Gazel noticed that the storm dragon Veldora's presence is within the slime. It's like this monster slime. So I think Gazel has good intentions. Let's begin today's reaction. Yo, 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 this guy, someone mentioned it in my chat. This guy's name is Fuse, right? So what I didn't know is that Fuse is a self-insert character by the author himself because the author's name is Fuse. So this is the author's like, he's like, I want to be in the show. I, I want to be my own show. That that's him. Oh, dude, that that's a fucked up thing. Fuse sent D3 into Veldora's cave. Isn't that crazy? These are like low-ranking adventurers. You sent them into fucking Veltra's cave? Isn't that insane? That's like some end-game boss territory. Guildmaster Fuse. Kavel, job class fighter. Eden, sorcerer. Guido, thief. I think these are reoccurring characters, right? Yeah. <laughs> Because we ate everything. Alright, and they, they meet Rimuru because they come into the Jura Forest. Do we terrify them? What happens with these? I forget. I think we scare them, don't we? Or do we like save them? The thief is still so defeated. Yeah, why are you telling the thief that? That voice. It's her! It's her! That's her body that we're just gonna take and yoink! The title was called Shizu. That was her name? Shizu? This design is crazy. The under boob. The under boob and the belly butt. I, this design is fucking crazy, dude. I know that the author made it, but technically this is like the demon faction's clothing, right? This is... This is crazy. Alright. Right! Right! And she like saves them because she's super strong and there's like monsters that attack. Into another dire wolf. Even bigger though. Damn. That is probably an insane spell, right? Holy. It even has a rainbow now. Why did he just call himself as Rimuru? It's a narration. Oh, Kaijin! Let's go! And he like coaches everyone here too to, you know, do that shit too? Okay, Garm specializes in armor. Okay. What does mm -hmm do? Jewelry. Okay. The finest craftsman. And then? Mm -hmm is? He's an expert in architecture and the arts. <laughs> well, if you just draw it on the ground, you just draw a blueprint. I guess this is good. Yeah. This world building, man, it's like Age of Empires. It's like fucking, I don't know, Starcraft. You're just building more bases, different things. Hmm? Bodybuilding poses every time. Look at those pecs. Boing, boing. I missed that. Where did these goblins come from? Wait, I mean, I missed that. Wait, 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 what, what? Where did these kids come from? There's so many more goblins. Yeah. 
So every just nearby Golem Goblin Village just came by. I mean, te honestly, Abby's just like, damn, they got name? Yo, I want a name. Let's go to Rimuru's Village. <laughs> His bodybuilding poses are still funny to me. 376. I, I wasn't close, but I almost. Name them all. Name them all. They will die. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Orcs? Lizardmen? Ogres, literally everybody that we're gonna do, right? Orcs is the um big pig looking dude, right? Right? I remember he's got some. Cr what was his name? I forget his name. Lizard man is uh Gabiru, and ogres are like Benny, right? Yeah, the orc lord. Yeah, he he's a thick boy. He does some crazy shit in season two. That's pretty cool. That you know, this is like okay, they're like the dominant forces in Jira Force, so it makes a lot of sense why they like show up here too. It's kind of cool foreshadowing, huh? He's still flexing. He's still flexing. Right. If you use it all, you know, you get tired. Three days. Wait, three days, three days. Remember the three days sleep? You know, the guild said that they get three days of break. They should be coming in now. Look at the time. Just coincidence, huh? I don't think so. Good job, Kaiju. Gata! Gata! Is he taking a shit? What the? No, he's, this is summoning. Yeah. It's just the fuck he's taking a shit. By the way, we never. How did he escape? We never really talked about how he escaped from the prison cell, right? Because we just went home. And we assume that he escaped, but are we gonna ever talk about it? Okay. Gata. Oh, here we go, here we go. I spoke too soon. What did he do? He just. He learned how to summon it here? Gata in this current predicament surpasses his limits like a shonen main character. Dude, he just does his effortless, he just fucking summons the wolf, gets out. Gata. Damn. <laughs> the guards couldn't do anything. No one can contain him, dude. Dude, even Gazel can't do anything to Gata. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. He can't do anything, man! He's a legend! Respecting him more. Mm. Yeah, it's a, sh it's a shitting motion. It's a, it's a poop motion. Oh, you know what they say about the most talented people? They're terrible teachers, because they just intuitively know. That's Gata. No, oh, 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 come on! It's like better than before, though, right? Net positive? Rigard, what's up? He's a goblin king now? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Did he get bigger? It just looks like he just put clothes on. You know? I mean, he just put a fucking jacket on. He's not fucking body flexing anymore. Oh, the clothing must be from, you know, the dwarves. Adventurous. Adventurous. The idiot trio. Let's go scare them. But Shizu is also there, right? Yeah. Oh. Yo, wait, didn't we see this in solo leveling? These big ants? <laughs> Unless you're a main character, you can get reincarnated. You know what? Honestly, the idiot turn is pretty funny. The, the leader, I mean, he's a little bit of a goofball, but it's still pretty funny to me.
Entei! Fire Ball! What does she got? Oh. Ryo Iki Tenkai! What is it? No name technique, just a fireball. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Sheesh. Damn. Like. Oh, she's so cool. She doesn't even look at it fall down. Now, at this point in the game, in terms of power scaling, how strong is Shizu compared to, let's say, some of the characters we know in, like, Season 2? Like, if we compare it to, like, Benny Maru and shit like that, is Shizu really that strong right now? Because, like, she's shown so early in Season 1, and I don't really know how strong she is. She's probably super strong, right? But, like, not that strong? She's kind of nerfed right now, too, right? Isn't there some kind of problem with her, too, that we gotta fix? But I don't know. Compared to some of the other shit in the future, I wonder how she ranks. Damn. Damn! Double for the double tap. She ruthless. Straight up, these are the ants from solo leveling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, that's why she weakens. Who saves her? Black lightning? Okay. When we see black lightning now compared to the fire magic, that's kind of fucking scary. I thought for a second Gopta would save her for a second. Oh my god, look at this. Imagine he missed his Shizu. Look how close this is. <laughs> Boom. Rimuru's not above there. The okay, mask is off. <laughs> black lightning. <laughs> It is strong. <laughs> Hello, I'm a slime. Nice to meet you. Oh, you got the mask on him now. Look, it suits him. It's a sentient slime. That's the girl. Oh, we actually saw a picture there? Oh, no, we did see a picture in the fortune ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or become? That looks so good. <laughs> Look how fast her mouth are moving. Okay. The idiot trio are very funny to me. Even the fucking mouth movements are hilarious. We've seen them before, yes, in the cave! But how come they couldn't detect their power? Is it because they're literally just so weak and unimportant? How could they not detect it? Yeah, she kind of recognized something, but like, why couldn't they detect the aura from Veldora? What? We see the meat. We see the meat. We see the meat. We see the meat. No! No, what do you mean? It, I guess it's just special way of eating because she doesn't take her mask off. It just fucking transports into her mouth. Why even fucking bring it to your mouth? What, what is this shit? Okay, cool. Cool. We've offered them plenty. Waga Aruji. Hello. That's right. The slime is the leader. Yes. Sup, motherfuckers. Show some respect. No, flex on them. Intimidate them. Or just act like a fucking toddler. Oh, I'm not a... She laughed because she's Japanese, because this is a Japanese reference, right? Yeah. Oh, Rimuru's 
What about you, under boob? What about you, under boob? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm the leader. Gido. Kaval Eren Gido Shizu. Japanese name incoming. Watashiwa Shizu something. Well, give, give, give me the last name. Oh, she's even sitting like that too. Burumun Kingdom? A guild master? Fuse, yes. なるほど。ベルドラがいなくなった。いや、よう聞かったようだな。洞窟だけでなく、わざわざ周辺の調査にまで来るとは。俺たち、ご覧の途中だが、その、キルト的に何か問題があるということ。Are you on a fight? What do you want? They're just scouting just to kind of do, I don't know, intel. I think Fuse is really chill, right? Bruman is really chill. The only hostile places I remember is like the east, right? And then the church people. And like demon lords too, I guess. Kind of. Some of them. Nice view. Are you Japanese? She noticed. I'm not a bad slime. But didn't she get like transported during like World War II times in episode one, right? That's what we saw. The flames were happening and she got trans. Or maybe that's a different girl. Maybe so there's like two girls, right? One that actually sealed Veldora and one that might be her apprentice or some shit. So technically the timeline then does align. So she's like from the modern time and not from the World War II time. Or maybe I'm getting myself tripped up here. How would she know about this game Dragon Quest? <laughs> he did not miss a beat there. Look at the moment as soon as the fucking breast made contact. Listen to the oh! oh! Yep. Must be nice being a slime. Oh, the mask. But we only meet for like a day or two and she just like dies. Well, we like swallow her. Yeah, reincarnated versus summoned. Being summoned sucks because you're bound by a contract, aren't you? Thirty mages, all casting. Yeah, and they have like a binding pact. Curse, curse. I think Carry On is the the one that we beat at the end of season two, right? We just destroy him, but I'm talking about the, the blonde guy, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, air raids, world war, world war two. Yeah, Clayman is the Dio's voice actor, the clown, but not not an actual clown, but you know other shit. I'm thinking about this blonde dude that summoned her. Of modern Earth, right? Showing her like how Japan's like, you know, progressed. Is that a computer? What is that machine? She's probably not gonna judge us. But really, dude, the first thing she sees is a fucking visual novel you're playing, you fucking degenerate. Why is it coming off? It is like that though. Back in the World War times, then as the years pass by, Japan's like developing. How does she know about the game though? The video did she mention video game or did she just say game? Yeah. Welcome to the modern Tokyo, I guess. The kids she taught? Okay, that makes sense. 
That's right. We're just collecting all different monsters to coexist in peace. But then, like, the church starts shit with us because we're monsters. That's why she won't be with us too long. GG. She gonna die. It's the curse, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Cap. Cap. Kaijin. Sad thoughts about her curse. The war? Okay, the war again. This is the exact same scene we saw in episode one. In fact, the show starts. This anime starts with this scene. Summoned and then? Blonde guy? Blonde guy, are you here? Yeah, it's him! Blonde guy! Damn, look at those burns. Failure? Failure? It's not what she wanted? Okay. Ifrit, right? This is kind of fucked up from his end, right? Because, like, from what I remember, there's almost like a sense of, like, respect between him and Rimuru at the end. Not like Clayman. Clayman's a fucking clown. Not an actual clown, because we do actually see a clown, but you know what I mean. This guy is a bit different, but this is still a little bit fucked up. I mean, they are like a- he's like a demon lord, right? So he's a demon lord, right? <laughs> Am I thinking of a different guy? Because I remember in season 2, there's like a meeting with everybody. Is there a different blonde dude? Wasn't there a moment where this guy and you're talking together and he's like, damn, this guy's like really, uh, you gotta be wary of him. He's, he's kind of super scary. I don't know. <laughs> and that's the episode. Kind of sad that this new character that gets introduced, Shizu, she's just pretty much just gonna go away like next episode or two, right? Because I think there's like a battle with Ifrit and somehow she can't live anymore and Rimu just pretty much becomes her, which is like a nice, like... He, he gets a body, right? He, he finally gets a body. A very androgynous body. So, I mean, it, it's unfortunate, but she lives, you know, within Rimuru. So that's Veldora. The idiot true. Funny as usual. And there's so many details here. Again, with the rewatch that I'm just noticing that I would have never seen. Like, even like the foreshadowing with like orcs. Fucking uh, lizard men and other, uh, what, what's the other one? Ogres, right? In the Jura Forest and stuff like that. But that's it, man. I think next episode, we might do a little bit more about the conflict that Shizu is currently in. And then Rimuru is just going to do some heartwarming stuff at the end. And then we just swallow her body. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.